Welcome. Today we are going to learn about equivalent fractions. The word equivalent means equal or the same size. So when we're talking about equivalent fractions, all that means is two or more fractions that are all the same size. So you might notice we have four bars here to start with. Uh, so that's the red bars that you see. And notice that all four of those red bars are exactly the same size. So they are all the same whole, we could say, when we're talking about fractions. And that's the type that means like the whole thing. So our whole thing is the same size to start off with. Notice this top bar is split into two equal pieces. So right here where my cursor is, is one piece out of a total of two pieces, right? So I'm going to go ahead and label this piece right here. This is one out of two, okay? So that is the fraction one half. So if this is one half, then this is also one half because this piece over here is also one piece out of a total of two. Notice the next bar down is split into one, two, three, four equal pieces. So that means that this piece over here is one out of a total of four. So that means this piece is also one out of a total of four. This piece is one out of a total of four. And this piece over here is also one out of a total of four. Now let's head down to our third bar. We can see that this bar is split into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal pieces this time, which means that this piece right here is going to be one out of a total of eight. This one's going to be one out of eight and so on all the way across. So each piece is one out of a total of eight, or we would say that as a fraction, we would say one eighth. Okay, just like up above we said one fourth and our first bar we said one half. So this is each piece is one eighth because this bar is split into eight equal pieces. Moving down to our last bar down here, we can see that this one is split into a lot more pieces. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pieces this time, which means that each little piece is going to be one out of a total of 16. And as a fraction, we would say that as 1 16th or 16ths, which is a little harder to say, <laughs> but that's how we would say it as a fraction. Okay, so here we have all of our pieces labeled correctly into their proper fractions. So now, if I were to shade this piece right here, Okay, it's not, look, it's not perfect. <laughs> Doing my best here. Okay, so this is now one piece out of a total of two, right, that I shaded, so one half. Okay, moving down to our second bar, I'm going to shade this time two pieces. So there's one piece I'm shading two pieces this time. So now I have shaded a total of two pieces out of a total of four pieces. So now I've shaded two fourths. Moving down to our third bar, this time I'm going to shade a total of four pieces 
out of a total of eight pieces. So now I have shaded four eighths. And then down in our very last bar down here, I am going to shade a total of eight pieces out of a total of 16 pieces. So now I have shaded eight sixteenths. So now we can see that all of these parts that are shaded are all the same size. That means that what we just shaded was equivalent fractions. So that means that one half is equal to or equivalent to two fourths, which is equivalent to four eighths, which is equivalent to eight sixteenths. Let's take a look at this in another way. So another way to show what we just did is to write it like this. So one half is equal to or equivalent to two fourths. One half and two fourths are also equal to or equivalent to four eighths. And all three of these are also equivalent to eight sixteenths. So there we have some equivalent fractions. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to review were the vocabulary words, numerator and denominator. So when we are looking at a fraction, the number on the top of the fraction is called the numerator. And the number on the bottom of the fraction is called the denominator. So what this really means is that the numerator is the part of the whole thing that we're looking at. So in this case, it would be one. And so that would mean the part that we're looking at is one part out of a total of two parts. So two in this fraction, one half, two is our denominator. So the denominator is the number on the bottom and the two is telling us the whole thing. So in this fraction, this would be one part out of a total or whole thing that's two parts. So that is numerator and denominator. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I will see you soon.